Thursday cooking with Kevin and this week we are doing Swiss steak. Now we're doing it the way we always do it but you can do it the way you want to do it. So we're just showing how we do it uh, for a different idea. Uh, there's several different ways uh, that you can do Swiss steak. It's just the name of Swiss steak is just basically the name of doing steak in a, in a sauce. Uh, we're also going to do uh, roasted potatoes. So what are we going to start out with? We're going to start out with some steak. I think it's, I don't know if it's blade steak or I don't know. We, we bought some steak that was on sale the other day. Uh, we have some peppers and onions and got some flour to dip our steak in. And we're using some Primo uh, spaghetti sauce with that. And uh, in both the potatoes and the steak, I got my chef's choice. I'm going to use for some seasoning. So the first thing that we have to do, we got to tenderize our meat a little bit because it is going to be going in the oven at 400. So we just want to give it a good make sure it is nice and Okay, I'm using a bigger, uh, I think it's 11 by 13 pan. Use whatever pan size you want, according to how much steak you have. And we're just going to dump our steak in the flour. And the, the flour kind of helps uh, thicken the sauce. If you're doing a sauce, it's maybe not as, as thick. sure that we that in the pan and then we're just gonna add in our peppers and our onions on top just kind of give them a spread around and add in our sauce like you say you can make it with any sauce that you like we have made it with just uh, like making our own sauce with some tomatoes and uh, tomato sauce and stuff like that. So, not gonna judge however you want to make it. So, that is that for the. For that, we just gotta make that up. The other thing, too, is you wanna cut your steaks up into smaller pieces it just uh we find it cooks better if you don't want to do that that's fine like i said i just we find it cooks up a little bit better okay and dump these water out of the potatoes okay And all I do with the potatoes is take some butter. Oh. And 
I just put chunks of butter in here. And we're going to put a little bit of seasoning in, not a whole lot. Okay, and we're going to add a little bit of our seasoning into our steak. That is it. This is going to be a really quick video. So what we're going to do, we're going to pop that in the oven when they're ready to go for the taste test. I'll bring you back. All right, it's done. It smells good. Always is. Now, because uh, I haven't done this for a while, yeah, I recommend spray the pan. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Good as you remember. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time since we made it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, it's good. And I also told them, I said, however you want to make it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's different ways. We've made it different ways before. Mm -hmm. But yeah, spray the pan. Mm -hmm. uh, I should have done that before. But oh well. Lessons learned. Okay, that's it. That is the Swiss steak. It was sweet, very quick, simple, not a very long video, so, but I want to say thank you for joining again. I always say I don't know what I'm making next week, but I'm sure Kelly will tell me. Thank you very much. Have a good week.